Hi 316 Youth, welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're really excited because we have Ellie here today and um, we're going to do a little video just introducing her and um, what she's going to be doing over these six weeks that she's with us. So um, Ellie, just tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're with us six weeks. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm Ellie, I'm 22. Uh, I'm from Romsey, so not too far away. Uh, and I am a third year, so my last year of uni, uh, at Moreland's Bible College. Uh, so yeah, as part of my course, I'm here to work with you all for six weeks. Uh, so I'll be getting involved with some youth work along with some other bits. So it's really exciting. Yeah, oh, that sounds so great. And we've had a lot of Moreland students in the past and we love them. So um, we're really excited to have you. So we're just going to ask you a couple of questions um, just so we can get to know you better. Some of them will be like serious and some of them will be a bit silly, um, but I'll start off with a silly one. So um, what is the weirdest food you've ever eaten? I have eaten coyote, which is kind of like, wow, dog apparently. Uh, when I was oh, in America, God. we went, I went on a school trip actually, and uh, we were with the tribe in one of the tribal areas and um yeah we they cooked us a meal out in the desert and apparently it was coyote how true that is i wouldn't know <laughs> wow. wow that sounds so exciting that's really cool yeah. <laughs> mm. cool. cool is yeah. he um my first question is if you could tell your 14 year old self so if you were back in a youth group what would you what piece of advice would you give yourself I think I'd probably say to trust God and like that sounds like the obvious thing but I think it's actually really hard when you're in the midst of something tricky to actually remember that you will get out of it and God has got you and actually if you trust him you can get through it much easier because you know that actually he's got good stuff on the other side. So good. Okay um, next question for me. If you could go and visit one fictional place, where would you go? I think at the moment it would have to be Narnia because we don't get any snow and I love snow. So <laughs> quite simply, that would be why. <laughs> That's so true. I was so disappointed when I saw my window this morning and then I was like, oh, there's literally no snow. And when <laughs> there was a centimetre of snow, by the time I'd finished work, I was like, where's it gone? I yeah. didn't even get a chance to go on a walk in it. Oh, honestly. <laughs> so I'm with you on that one, Ellie. Yeah. Um, my next question is, what is your current favourite worship song? But I think it's probably This Is A Move by Brandon Lake at the moment. Mm. Oh, I haven't heard that one. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> cool. Okay, third question from me. Um, if you could like magically just become fluent in any language, what language would it be? So the Bible college student in me would like to say ancient Greek, but really <laughs> I think it would be Italian because then I don't have to worry about ordering pizza and ice cream when I go. I can just, you know, chat to anyone and get all the yummy food. That's so true. <laughs> and also like I love Italian, an Italian accent. Italian, French, Spanish, they kind of all once you know one, it's easier to learn the others. So true. That's why I've heard it. And um, <laughs> my next question is: If it was your last meal on Earth, what would you choose for your starter, main, and pudding? Uh, I mean, I would say my big favourite meal is sort of a roast dinner. But I might have to go rogue and have like maybe a pizza for starter or some sort of pasta for a starter, and then full on Christmas dinner, yeah. like all the trimmings, which I actually had for my birthday the other week, because why not? And then maybe a banoffee pie for pudding. Interesting. I love yeah. I respect that decision. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, last one from me is, what's your favorite Bible verse? I am a big fan of Isaiah 43, verse two, which I actually have printed up on my wall. Um, and it says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Oh. I don't Very think I've ever heard someone choose that one. 
but I I love it yeah so good um, and my last question is what are you most excited for in the next six weeks that you're with us at KCC uh, I'm a big fan of people and so I genuinely am just really excited just to get stuck in and get to know you all uh, get to know sort of what you like and uh, just yeah make some good friends and that's always a good place to start and I think we've got yeah. a great bunch of people at KCC. I'm a bit biased, but our youth group are definitely <laughs> up there. Um, so that's a great answer. Amazing. So that's all the questions we have for you, Ellie. Um, but thank you so much. And we're really excited to see what God is going to do over these next six weeks. Um, so yeah, you. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. bye.